Wait, someone goes, are you cheating? If so, please leave. What? <laughs> that should be a compliment. Listen, I would be like, yeah, I am cheating. What of it? I'm the fucking greatest. <laughs> hey guys, Joel's here. We're starting something new. We're giving away one free coaching session every week. Watch until the end of the video to find out how. Enjoy the video. All right, so what do we buy first round? Okay, so first round, you're going to want to either buy ghost or armor. Ghost or armor. The rest in utility. For sky, on attack, dog is very good. Ghost and heal is also pretty decent. Yeah, it's not bad. As long as you're buying armor or you're buying ghost, one of those need to happen because uh, it's actually very important to take aim duels. Or aim dueling is very important in pistol and you want to have a, an advantage, right? Either you have more HP or you have like a ghost. So having neither is sucks. Okay, so we're in an okay spot. We actually take space here. I'm very tempted to comment this, but we, we actually should should have pushed into spawn here because we had insane timing i'm gonna avoid this because this is iron but so you guys know nice standing. good flash so it's not planted for us yeah so this was actually not your fault yeah, so this was, this, <laughs> your team had free sight, we walled off spawn, we had heaven control, and our teammates still didn't plan for us. So actually, this wasn't, this wasn't our fault. You actually played this well. We lost first round, but we decided to buy, which is okay. Reloading instantly. Okay, never do this. Stop reloading instantly. If you ever want to reload, you have to be hiding behind cover. <laughs> Yo, uh, Anna, Anna with the 600 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. So we actually have a good timing. One enemy remaining. Okay, we run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Play together. Play with your teammate. Okay, maybe you wanted the ace, so. Nice round, though. Wait, someone goes... Are you cheating? If so, please leave. What? That should be a compliment. Listen, I would be like, yeah, I am cheating. What of it? I'm the fucking greatest. <laughs> I like how everyone in this lobby has like really bad mics. It sounds like everyone's speaking through a tuna can. Uh, we could probably heal, but... Careful. Okay, so we need to be checking our corners here. They could have been heaven here. I think we're focusing too much on healing. Like, yeah. Oh, we're pull we're using utility a little bit too much. Only time you should ever be pulling out your heal is if you guys are safe afterwards. It's okay if they're running in to their death with low HP, let them die. You're going to be put in a situation where you will die because you're going to try and play off of your teammate or try and heal your teammate. So gun out when taking sight. After everything is cleared, that's when we can pull out the heal and utility, right? So you're going back to get the bomb, I'm assuming? Ah, uh, yeah, we're f***ed. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we don't lurk with the bomb, but all good. So Neon's here. Yep. There we we did it again, right? You see how we insta reload? Good kill, but we insta reloaded. I'm pretty sure Neon's here. Probably right on your right here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's one thing that we're also doing too. We're not hard clearing angles. Okay, let's go with our team. Okay, this isn't bad either. <laughs> what is chamber looking chamber was stargazing or something dude okay so we're lurking i don't mind it nice they are saving though and we did just get our presence zone usually after you get a kill when you're lurking i usually advise to just fall off completely because now they're going to be waiting for you because they know that one of their teammates died right uh we also didn't clear a corner doesn't matter i guess Good ult, actually. So usually you want to wait for the you want to wait for the jellies to kind of get some traction to get some info, right? The whole purpose of the ult is to get the info, and if we're going ahead of the info, we can get punished for it. So do we know that someone's there? Do we hear? I think we heard him. Yeah. One more. One more, actually. One more. Same spot. We can honestly hold. Yeah, so we knew that they were there, right? I think we just wait. I think that situation, we wait for either a wall or for that person to peek. Um, so I think like pushing through here was a little risky. Stop, pause the video right now and go subscribe. Thanks. 
Unlucky. Okay, this is very important. The person who's closer to the angle actually sees less than the person who's farther away. So whoever's farther away from the angle is actually going to be able to see more. So Neon is all the way down mid, whereas we are pretty close to this wall. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do about this, but that's why this angle kind of sucks. Okay, so we're, we're at, we end up like peeking corners without our crosshair actually being ready for these corners, right? This is a good example of our movement being ahead of our crosshair. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What that dog doing? Okay, so one thing that I'm noticing that we do a ton, you're flashing a lot of the times and we're not taking advantage of it. I understand sometimes it's okay to flash for info. In this case, we already had the info from the dog. So flashing anymore, we should be flashing to peek off of it. So you see our crosshair placement? You see where our crosshair actually is? Our biggest issue is crosshair placement. Our crosshair placement a lot of the time is off and we're never, we're not really ready for these fights. Okay, so we do this part. Okay, we do this thing where we actually hear somebody and then we actually kind of freeze up and then wait for them to peek us. But when they're going to peek us, they're going to be peeking us at an angle where we're, it's going to be very common for us to do. So in this situation, we either need to move up here and then hold this angle or we need to back up out of this angle. Basically, you need to be abusing different angles rather than this one. We have ult. All right, let's get some info. Wow, two there, huh? So flash this corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. One of the jellies got broke here. We definitely want to flash this corner. Uh, maybe they just didn't think about it. I, I don't know. Maybe it slipped their mind. Uh, no spammable. Nice. Whoa, so reloading. We need to stop this. Reloading out in the open like this. We have a flash too. Nice. Okay, a 4K. Almost the ace. You are cheating. Kale okay, goes, you are cheating. Could be close. Could be close. Uh, yeah. A lot of the time, we, we're just not clearing corners. We don't have our gun out when we need to. It's very scary. We're getting punished a lot for that. So while dogging for info is very good, we also don't want to make sure that it's a habit where we're doing it every single round because usually better players are going to start punishing that. We can wait a little bit or we can dog mid or something. Again, it's not worth mentioning. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see how we're out in the open like this and our crosshair is just like looking at nothing? And here we're just out in the open in a very obvious angle. You gotta be very you careful with this play, kind of stuff. Nice. Okay, we have a time behind him. Yeah, let's walk up behind them. Nice. So this is the timing. Good. Could be on. Last player standing. Oh. One enemy remaining. So you always want to prioritize the person on the spike first. Always prioritize the person on the spike first. The round is way more impactful than the kills. So. Nice shot. Good crosshair placement. This 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 was good crosshair placement. Wait, raise the AFK. Last player standing. What? Ult? Good ult. Follow, follow him, follow him. Go, 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 go. Flash. Flash, flash. Yes. One's right under you. Oh, all right. This was a good try. This game is kind of unfortunate. I don't even think it was your fault, this game. What you should practice. Here we go. Crosshair placement. When pushing angles and taking space, you want to make sure your crosshair is ready for those angles. Next, reloading. We are reloading after every kill instantly. We shouldn't almost never do that. Guys, guys, guys. Free coaching every week. Join the Discord in the description box below. If you want to try out other coaches, go to coaching.joelcv.com or click the link in the description below. They're all ready players. They're great people, and I personally vouch for them myself. Good luck climbing.